let's go to a dashboard where somebody wants to hire this person now for advertising right let's see what it will look, look like let me switch over okay so now let's assume that uh, somebody wants to hire the new person that just registered because it's a new platform uh, we just opened it for the public actually now um, I'm a business person now. I want to hire an advertiser. I come here. I say hire ad experts, right? I just click that, right? So the very first guy who is just we all just created an account and created a gig, we appear here, all right? Definitely, when you come, you will see a lot of other advertisers to make choice of, right? I'm sure. Okay, as a business person who wants to hire others, and as a person who is actually listed, you will see your own self right here, okay? Now I'm gonna source through as a business person and then i see okay this person i like this person says i will manage and create profitable facebook ads campaign okay good it looks good and it's even online right now green okay in that case let me just view and it's just five dollars so i'll view it to learn more about what the person the person's avatar looks good to okay great and then uh, the person's uh, what the person say about himself is this uh, great guy with best experience on cost or co on customer service and relations and advertising okay good and then here right here this is the pain this is the main place where this guy can really buy or make you get started almost immediately right he says for me there is nothing better than seeing businesses succeed your, your success is my success i'm a highly motivated creative individual with a seven year experience in the field of social media marketing right mm. and it's just five dollars right to hire me for that reason to hire this person for that reason let me hire the person i just click order okay let's see what will happen because i'm going to show you this is the two sides of it right i've shown you already for the guy who wants to place or lady who wants to place himself as an advertiser and for the person who wants to hire that's the stage where we are right now so my business name i'm just going to put it uh uh, 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 the genius. Okay. Uh, my business name is the genius. So I'm going to put, just put the genius. All right. So I'm just going to put genius ink there. And then, uh, I want this person to run my Facebook ads. All right. Or search for influencer for me too. Okay. I can decide to choose it like that. Okay. As I want, I'll make choice of my choice, right? My choice is my choice, nobody's choice. So product niche, I'll just put the niche where my product fall to a series watch or watches, maybe. Okay, I'll just put watch, ads duration. I want this advert to run for me for seven days. Okay, seven days uh, in a row, seven days. All right, I'll just put it up there. And then product industry, uh, yeah, it is under fashion, okay? Now description, I want uh, you to help me run my adverts for one week. And um, I see that your charge is, is $5. Uh, so just create the campaign on my ad account all right okay that's just what i want to do because i want this guy to create the ad account to create the campaign on my ad account so i'm going to put a url here for him okay so put make sure you put the uh, url and then your facebook page link you put it there to copy your facebook page link just go to facebook.com okay and then forward slash your page right or uh, put simply go to facebook.com and then go to your page where you have created a page and copy the page link and then uh, jump back to droppers and paste it right here all right so i'm going to just put uh, this uh, hash now facebook page description okay put your page page description okay we are great uh wristwatch company okay so now um service charge is already there uh, for five dollars okay i can see it here this is the person's service chart this, like me that is hiring this person now i cannot make changes here can't you can see it's not clickable can't change it so this is the person's service charge ad budget so this is now my personal ad budget i want to i'm budgeting to spend 25 dollars on this ad campaign okay i'm budgeting to spend 25 dollars for this seven days advert 
okay so this person should be able to utilize it or tell me what to do uh or better okay so but i should i can just calculate for five dollars times seven days and put it up here but let me just put 25 dollars as my ad budget for seven days now product image i put my product image uh according to where uh, what it is okay so um if you if you are a drop shipper of course you can go to your own dashboard and download your product image it's pretty simple right pretty simple to download uh, uh let me show you okay so to locate your uh, products to download the images or uh, to give the person sample of what you what the person should it's not like all the product images no 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 i need the person one or two product images for the person to understand what it is all about the person can uh, create good content image for you the person can do that or the person will use your own image that you give to the person so but this advert you will have a good contribution to it and that will make it be better right and save you time now look at this just click on go home and that is where, where what takes you back to the home for you to get to this place and then click on product in store right here and then you will, you'll be able to see the, your product that you have that you have uh, pushed to shop that is in your personal store in droppers the images now if these items are your personal product in your computer in your laptop in your phone right that you're selling in the street you have a shop in the street and you listed it on droppers environment well you might not be able to find it here um, but if you list it uh, through droppers environment whether from the lds market that is local drop shipping market or for the international market anyone you list it from you'll be able to see it here and then that's product installed the one you have imported before right and then click download images all right now you're going to put simply just one click it's going to download in a zip file all right it's going to it's going to quickly download so it's going to quickly download on a zip file and that zip file that is going to download is inside that zip file that you'll be able to uh uh, uh quickly quickly get your product uh it unzipped and then it gets it the product images in a quality more quality version and not a blur kind of image so that somebody can use it for advert right that's the essence of us making sure that it's on a zipped file and protected zip file right now uh in case you click this button and it brings error in terms of download email and it brings error the reason for that is simple is because this store the store is not on it's not the it's not like if the store if the store you push that product to store in is uh uh abc.com okay and then you now have another store that is abc uh, 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 z.abc.com that's another url right so now you have to make sure that it's only the store that is abc.com that is active before you're able to try to download so i have uh, uh stores here so the one that the, that product is is under this one so i have to make the other one inactive turn it to inactive all right and save and then i go back to stores and turn the one that i want to download its product from active so this is this one that i want to download its product i turn it to active and save okay so i can now operate this store this particular store right i go to product install and i find my product I click download now it's going to download the product without issues now but if you if you if it's another store that is that this product is listed on and another different store is actually active right now it's not going to allow you to download it's going to bring kind of error because of course you cannot be serving two masters at a time you cannot be managing two stores at a time right so it, of course you can see it's downloaded automatically right here so i can unzip the file and use the file as i want okay the product images all right now that is what i'm going to upload here for this uh, advertiser to use to run advert for me the advertiser might turn into a video or do anything so the more creative the advertiser is the more i will hire the person next time that's what all it means right and then if the person is running the advert on my own personal ad account i'll be seeing what the person is doing too so but if the person is running the advert on his own ad account the person will quickly be uh you know my, i might not see what the person did in terms of the videos or creative right so for that reason the person is going to give me statistics of it are you going to see that yes the person is going to submit statistics of what happened in between the lines of the adverts and then details of where you can visit it to make sure before you actually release money that the person is to take okay so um this is the zip file i can just right click on it and unzip and then i'll find even if you, one image that the product has you see it there if i extract all 
so i just extract all so please you do this one with your pc if you even don't if you even with your phone you can do it but your phone has to have a P, uh, zip file um on zipper it's something to unzip your zip file so you can download such such a app on play store right okay so i can double click and see this image this uh, product has just one image okay i can decide to use this particular product image uh when i come back here okay i double click and open and i use the product image and send to the person so for the product video optional you can, you can upload product video too so if the product has a video uh you'll be able to equally get it on drop pass okay but for now it's just on uh, uh pictures that you're able to quickly download faster okay now add account options add account options now this is for you to be able to tell if the person should use my own ad account or use his own ad account in running this advert for me so i come here and choose it so advertisers ad account or my own ad account then i hit submit all right pretty much all the person is going to now receive uh, information so he says i should put a specific url here uh, uh the product url format is so th the reason for that is because it's not it's not a, a real product url right so I, I need to put a product url so let me come back here okay i copy this product url copy link all right i paste it here so pretty much that is pretty much all and i, I hit submit. so if there's any other error it will tell me okay i think the, the file the file here is out so i'm supposed to put back the file so it actually allowed it to go there is no issue so it multiplied the, the fee now is now 13 times 500 so you multiply the, the the whole currency plus the amount of their money that the person is going to charge that is the person's ch for service charge plus the amount of money the person is going to use for the adverts everything summed to that 13,500 no charges from the admin admin does not charge the person who is hiring for business right no charges at all so in this case now you are going to pay this 13 times 500 naira then the admin is going to hold the money until the job is delivered by the advertiser okay so if there is any issue between the line the money is going to be released to the advertiser uh, i mean to the business person who hired and did not get the service or if the advertiser did deliver the service it's going to be taken or given to the advertiser so you must understand this all right the advertiser the, the reason the essence the purpose of your advert should be should be clearly stated all right the reason for your advert okay it's not about i want to make sales it's not a purpose for running advert okay uh, everybody wants to make sales for real right so but how how many is about traction traction to your website so if if this advertiser run and manage your advert and you are seeing the person spend ad budget and the rest of the thing you are going to be able to know that if this person has done well in your advert and you see the creative and all stuff and then you be like okay this person really do, did well maybe the advert did not perform well okay maybe i should try something else or the person should really duplicate the advert and do better with the ad so by the for the person service charge person is going to create this ad in multiple ways the person is going to create multiple ways if the person's ad if your ad budget is enough the person is going to create in multiple ways maybe two to three five ad campaign give the person the instruction here you give the person instruction here please i'm willing to pay five dollars per campaign per day create three campaigns all right and hands off right and you are creating it on my own personal ad account that's why this is here okay that's just a sample i'm giving you so but if you put everything together that is the price of uh, 13 times 500 naira right there for you okay so right um now we have 25 dollars five dollars that's 30 dollars of course multiplied by 450 is 13 times 500 that's what you saw okay now the ad budget is going to like if you allow advertiser if you if you issue uh the advertiser in terms of you say this advertiser should use your own card all right you're going to put this budget ad budget then okay so you just have to give the advertiser instruction and the advertiser charges is five dollars and that's all so your ad budget you just put zero okay that's all so the advertiser takes his money and then you put the instruction here you are going to run this advert five dollars per day my card is going to be used for this purpose okay and then you offer the card details now you will say 
what if the card details is used by this advertiser without me knowing well link it to your ad account by yourself and give the ad, uh, ad account access to the advertiser okay give him ad, uh, uh, access as what advertiser to your ad account or to your page or to your business manager so there is the person does we not have access to your card all right or have access to your payments or stuff like that then it's going to only have access to the ad account to create adverts that's all so once once you do this you are done now if the if you want to provide a person with your uh, uh, card well we don't support that you do that the way we support this is the fact that you is either you give you either you come here now and say my advert budget is $25 and you put the $25 here plus $5 in Naira is now 13,500 is $30 even 4 and 450 Naira conversion rate now in, in so doing the the admin is now going to create a virtual credit card okay the admin is going to create a virtual credit card from butter and actually supply that card to the advertiser for the advertiser to use now you cannot get your 25 dollar back as long as the adverts run if the advert did not run you get it back you, you don't get it back i mean if the advert did not run you get that days that the advert did not run back to yourself now there are other charges you can read the terms and conditions from your page there are other charges the charges uh uh butter card okay of course if you are creating a butter card you can go to butter environment and see how much they charge for their card the service charge from admin is 100 percent free you don't pay the admin for creating a card for you or you go ahead and create your card for yourself but it's you can you can find yourself as somebody who is at risk providing card okay for uh, buying your ads okay or pl placing your ad for you so it doesn't really make sense so it's only two ways one you allow admin by putting the figure you want here and pay the complete money everything and then if your advert did not work or whatsoever the, the person did not deliver the product at all not about the advert not working but the the advertiser did not run the advert at all he did not run the advert at the days that is stipulated and the advert did not show anywhere you, you didn't see report of it from the advertiser either so it doesn't concern you you'll get 100 percent your money back except the charges of creating the card for you which will be supplied to you by the admin okay the card will be given to you okay by the admin now that card is funded by the admin for for the adverts to be able to run and anytime you want to place advert or run advert the, the that same card will be used for you by the admin all right this is pretty much simple now the second means is for you to do it yourself put zero dollar here put zero dollar here and use their use the amount fund your paper uh, your your your, uh, your account on facebook okay fund your account on facebook and then give the advertiser permission to run ads for you all right pretty much simple okay all right so to locate your business manager is simple come to business.facebook.com this is now for the guys that are hiring somebody of course right so come to business.facebook.com and locate your facebook business your business manager now if you say that your business manager you don't know your business manager uh you don't uh, uh maybe facebook has banned your uh, business manager ad ac uh, account well with droppers you can create as many more as possible up to five depending on your account in your, your droppers uh, stores environment you can create we have a video on that that you can create multiple business managers even though facebook do not give you the permission to do that you're able to create multiple of it for yourself because and yes you can do that inside facebook because at this point in time you can't do that inside facebook but you can do it through dropper system okay so once you locate your business manager which is business.facebook.com okay you locate the exact uh, business manager you have okay and then you come here and under people you click on add right and do guess what you type out your uh, you type out the person's or advertiser's email address you put it here and that's the person's email address you're gonna the person is going to now receive notification that this person is now advertised to your store so if we just put uh, uh, the person's ad, uh, email address here okay example this is just example and then you come you don't give the person admin access all right you can see don't give admin access and then you scroll down all right and leave the person uh, the access of uh, advertiser you can see employee we recommend adding 
uh, people they are they can work on assignments accounts and tools right so but if you give admin access it means the person is be able to control your finances analytics and then finance uh, finance editing and then developer uh, tools all right now you don't need to do that at all so but just add the person and then allow this first one as an employee and then move on right so let me just put up uh, any uh, email address so now that you have done this you hit next all right just leave it like this you hit next okay now it's not going to tell you to select what you want to give the person access to okay uh you want to give the person access to a classic page but this particular business manager does not have a page yet of course so add account if you want to give the person access to an ad account which is the major thing here all right give the person access to an ad account and then this is an ad account i want to give the person access to i check i check it and then i say manage campaign one view performance all right manage ad so the person is able to uh, control ad account settings finances and permissions create an ad it is ad access reports and view ads well this person will not have this full control we don't want the full control that is why we are giving this person only partial control of manage campaigns when can create campaign edit ads access reports okay so that the person will be able to know uh what how he himself is performing in running advert for you please just click invite and that is all okay you have actually given the person the instruction or uh, about to really hire somebody to be able to run your ads for you okay so now this is the place where you put the instruction all right this is the place where you put the instruction that okay this is my email address okay this is my email address of course you have already put your uh, facebook profile id blah 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 all these things here so the person is going to see it okay the person is going to see it and be able to give you that information now the place where you see the person's email address to really use for this place of giving the person advert access is after submission of the form after payment after you have made payments you see the person's details the person's ad account if the person if you selected uh if you selected the uh, use advertiser ad, ad, ad account then you're able to see the person's ad information and the uh, business manager information okay maybe you want to visit the person's page and all the stuff right now but if, the, if you selected use my ad account you're going to see now the person's email address so that or, or the person's uh, information so that you are going to give the person advertiser access to your business and ad account on facebook i don't know why the page is a little bit hanging but that is okay and um, that is all i want to share with you on this video please please go ahead and list yourself right now start hiring and firing too of course <laughs> okay for real it's time to really add extra source of income for yourself why you don't just in our platform you you make money in multiple ways as you run your dropshipping business you can help others too uh, while you are making money and equally helping them because you learn fast everybody we don't learn at the same pace somebody can learn faster and help another create his or her campaign and take the pain of creating campaign if there is pain at all in it and then or actually enjoy hiring other people because i am busy doing one or two things okay for that reason i might not be able to manage or run my ad by, uh, by myself for that i can hire somebody here so i hope you enjoyed this feel free to ask any question you want to ask the genius right here and i sign out